Happy Lunar New Year, everybody. It's uh, It's been a while. Everybody say hi to MJ. Um, today we are in beautiful, beautiful, sunny San Diego. We, uh, sun, yeah. We flew out this morning and uh, we're gonna be here for a few days. We're gonna have a special guest in tomorrow's video, but I wanted to break out the camera. I wanted to have some fun, make some videos. We got a lot of stuff to catch you guys up on. I've got shinies i've got hundos i got my very first schlundo i have to show you guys that one was unbelievable i fell off my couch i wish i had a clip for that but right now we have like 18 minutes to get inside the aquarium i've been trying to film like all day for an intro for this video but we've been super busy we left Seattle at we left our hotel at like 4 45 in the morning and then went straight to the airport to fly out here but I needed sunshine I needed I needed a break from Seattle from Washington in general so I'm going to catch you guys up on a whole lot of stuff after the aquarium but I wanted to take you guys along with us to show you the aquarium because the Seattle one was really beautiful and I'm hoping this one is going to be just as nice a really great reviews on it but we're going to walk around and do a whole bunch of stuff after the aquarium but before we're late and miss our time slot let's get inside and then we'll catch back up on Pokemon in a little bit. Well, I would definitely say that that aquarium was a solid nine out of 10. It was a lot of pretty fish, a lot of stuff. I couldn't show you guys everything because like this video would run on for days just a B-roll from that aquarium. It was definitely a big one. And then we came out here to La Jolla Cove because I wanted to come see the seals again. Now, if you're OGs to the channel, you know I've already done that. But if you haven't seen it, sorry I couldn't show it to you this time. Um, much different experience this time they won't let you like go down to the water to actually like go up where you can get within touching distance of the seals and stuff i think it's because there were a lot of pups out this time so they didn't want you messing with the babies or getting eaten because you were trying to pet the babies which would have been me but that's okay so right now we were going to take a lift back to the hotel but it would take like 45 minutes to get a lift so we're going to walk about a mile and a half back to the hotel and on the way, I've got some eggs. I've got nine, seven kilometer eggs, but I'm not gonna lie, they kind of suck right now. We've got some research tasks. We've got a bunch of shinies to show off to you guys. But first, I'm gonna try to get off of the beach because there's just way too many people here. There was a wedding, there's music. There's just way too much stuff. So we're gonna walk up, we're gonna get into the neighborhood. I'm gonna try not to die going up this hill because I am so out of shape. And then Chinese hundos, evolutions, we got a lot of stuff. Just wish us luck. Well, y'all, we made it up the first hill, kinda. So, in honor of that, I'm gonna go ahead while we're walking up this uh, little bit of flat land, and I've got three research tasks to check, and as part of the Lunar New Year, we got two brand new shinies, Esper and Litleo. I do not have Litleo, so I've got three tasks here. Gonna check the first one. I don't have a hundo male either. That is not it, I believe we're looking for 611. And that is not the ghost dog. She got it on the first day. 600, not any good. And this guy. Not going to be a shiny. Okay, well, 
we're getting ready to go up around the corner and there's a beautiful overlook of the bay so when we get to that i think i'm going to try to find a place to show you a few shinies and we need to do pokedex evolutions with them but first i gotta stop dying Well, y'all, that was the look of the bay, but it's so loud on the road right now. But I've got nine seven kilometer eggs and I'm just gonna hatch them for you guys because there's a new hatch animation. I'm sure all of you know about it by now, but go ahead and hit that for us. And let's just see what we can get here real quick. Egg number one is gonna be a slugma. So this egg pool is pretty small. Egg number two, scraggy. I love how I can just fast hatch through these. Another scraggy, I literally have nothing but scraggies. A slugma. I think you can get lit Leos out of these. However, I have not seen any. Oh yeah, she just got a hundo. We got another slugma. If that would be gray, that would be perfect. A shuckle. I hatched another hundo shuckle. Hey, there's a lit Leo. Not shiny. And another scraggy. Good God. That's all the eggs. There's no hundos in there. Okay, it's loud. Ooh, wait. Lit Leo? No. Okay. We're almost home and I think we're just gonna go ahead and do the evolutions and catch everything up for you guys there because it's so loud out here right now. And honestly, I'm dying tired. I'll explain everything when we get there. Okay, so just about nothing has gone according to plan today, but that's okay because would it really be a me and MJ video if anything went the way it was supposed to? Probably not, but I was hoping to do some evolutions while we were out at La Jolla Cove, but um, funnily enough, the last time we were at La Jolla Cove, the pandemic was like still in full swing and they had just like opened up from the first lockdown and we literally, I could go down and like touch the seals. This week they had like beach guards and police and all sorts of security and stuff out there so we couldn't really go down and film any of that and then there was a wedding and there were people everywhere and traffic and music and that just didn't work out so we decided to walk back here and I was going to do some stuff on the way but the entire walk here was like the side of a highway and the sidewalk was like this wide so that didn't work out anyways I've got boba coming from my literal favorite place here in San Diego but while we're waiting for that to get delivered, I have to catch you guys up on so much stuff. And I'm going to jump around a little bit because I'm going to put some in today's video and some in tomorrow's video because I just don't have time to put it all in today's video. Now, earlier I mentioned that I didn't have Lit Leo yet. When we started the event, I was at 2,471 scene. We are currently at, this is going to hurt... 3,531 scene, so a little over a thousand checks and still no ghost dog, but that is okay because I have a feeling I know where my RNG went and I hope she doesn't have anything to throw at me when we start going over this. Oh, she's going to hit me with a remote. That's going to be good for the video. So two raids in to the new event, we got, <laughs> we got two. I got two raids into the event. Our first ever shiny Esper. I freaked out. It was a 703 CP. Not that great, but hey, two raids in. And the reason two raids in is important. Remember that for the next video for my giant, ridiculous complaint that's going to be coming. We got later on, we were working on the timed research, and wouldn't you know it, right here in the rewards? Shiny Esper number two, 523 CP. Wasn't that great either, but hey, that's two done. Now, technically, you need two males and two females. So I was doing some more research, and I didn't even notice I had the winter raid task and checked it off, and wouldn't you know it? That is a shiny 98% Esper. Um, so that's three, and I believe at that point we had two males and one female. And wouldn't you know it, just about two hours later, I had just finished doing laundry, sat down on the bed, shiny Esper number four. It's like Esper community day for me. I only have currently, I think I just broke 
a hundred seen. We are currently at 105 caught or 104 caught, 105 seen. And I've got four shinies. And honestly, I don't even remember how many of those were from the first time it was around compared to now. And I actually believe I'm getting another raid invite. Let's go ahead and see what it is. That is a shuckle. Jess, why are you inviting me to a shuckle? That is the worst Pokemon. No, I will not do shuckle raids. Her and I tried to duo one. I ain't even going to talk about the video. If you can find it, you can watch it. No, we're not doing a shuckle. But what we are going to do is go in here and type in Esper and hit Shiny. So the first one I'm going to do, I have to do this. I did not do any of these Dex Evolutions the first time they came out. We are going to evolve a Shiny 98% Esper for Meow Stick? Is that what it's called? I have no idea. I think that's right. Shiny 98% though, going in the Pokedex. Wow, that is that is a gorgeous evolution. It's ears flop up. That's funny. Yeah, there it is in the Pokedex. Absolutely amazing. And as you can see, shiny 98%. What is that max out at level? Ooh, 2394 at level 50. That might actually be fun to play with for Ultra League, but I'm not going to put any dust or candies into it now because as you can also see, I finally stopped spending enough to break 30 million dust, and I'm trying not to drop below that. So now what we need to do is go get the next evolution done, and this is a 686, not the best. The 523 is going to end up being the one we do, which is fine. So let's go ahead and get this done and get both male and female Meow Stick done for the shiny evolutions. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wait for my Boba to get here. And we've got one more, maybe two more things to go over in today's video, which is a very special trade and a couple of other things. But there is the 888 CP done. Let me know down in the comments. Um, do you have your shiny Esper and how many raids did it take you? Because I have gotten some serious hate over uh, my luck with Esper, but my Boba and Bubble Waffle should be here soon. And as soon as I indulge in that, we'll get to the rest of the video. What I literally just say, nothing going right. I ordered Boba, which I did receive that. I ordered a Bubble Waffle. They sent, they legit sent me four actual waffles. Um, so I'm gonna go drink my Boba and wait for a refund or a new order or something and then we'll do more shiny stuff. Okay, so I changed my mind on saving any of the shinies for tomorrow's video because tomorrow is actually going to be like a really busy day already as is. So to get everything out of the way, catch you guys up as much as I can in one video, keep it as hype as possible. I am going to save what in my opinion is the best for last which is probably my second best trade of all time because in my opinion, my first best trade of all time, number one is going to be when her and I were living in Apple Valley, California and randomly traded. I still to this day don't remember what I gave her, but she gave me a Safari hat Pikachu. I can't remember if it was male or female, but I know I needed the other gender to complete the shiny Pokedex family, and in a completely random, unlucky re-roll trade, I got a Shundo Safari Hat Pikachu, which is now a level 50 best buddy, probably one of the biggest wastes of candy and stardust I've ever done, but it had to be done. Now, the first shiny, I'm going to go <laughs> positive shiny, negative shiny, positive shiny. So... The positive shiny we're going to go over is this adorable green shadow gummy bear. This was literally, again, my second cliff, and I managed to get 
the Shiny Shadow Teddy Ursa, which is my sixth Shady Pokemon and over 2,400 encounters with Shadow Pokemon. Painful RNG, but hey, we got a Shiny Shadow Teddy Ursa, and I couldn't even like get excited about it because I got up at like one in the morning to pee and I checked my Pokemon and my balloon came in late and there it was, but I wasn't about to wake her up before she had to be to work shouting over a Shiny Shadow Teddy Ursa. Thank you. Now, now, let's talk about some negatives. You see this screenshot right here. It shows Drudagon at 281 caught, 284 seen, and there is Shiny there. Well, that's because after 284 raids, we got this green, orange, pineapple looking dragon bastard right here. And <laughs> when I tell you I was salty, I was so salty after we finally caught this after 284 raids, I sat down, did the wholesale pricing math for the three pack of remote passes, cost of coins, blah, 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 and I named it $236.67. Because that's how much it cost me to get this Pokemon. <laughs> and I'm now currently at 335 seen and still only have one. So let me know your Drudagon luck down in the comments. Hers was better, but it still wasn't great. I think it took her, what, 90-something to get your first one? Correct. Yeah. It was bad. I, I know it wasn't great for either of us, but I did get the hundo originally, and, like, I think it was 11 checks, and I hadn't even done raids at that point. That was literally research tasks for a hundo, and then it took me almost... 250 bucks to get whatever it doesn't matter so for the last in the video that i actually have clips for to show you guys now for the ogs here all of you guys know my guy chris back in tampa every time him and i do a lucky trade he gets completely wrecked on ivs and I get the literal best IVs. He gave me my shiny 98% uh, Dialga. He gave me, I think it's a shiny 98% um, shiny Nidoran female when I needed to complete that family. Every trade, um, I think I got a lucky Houndoom from him, shiny that turned out great. Like every single time I know when I trade him, I'm going to get amazing luck. This will go down in history as probably my best lucky trade ever. So I'm going to show you guys. We went ahead and did Zekroms because he needed one. Both of mine sucked. He only had one, I think, and his sucked too. So I went ahead and did the trade for us. And just sitting on my couch, I'm sitting there watching this screen. I recorded it because our trades are always amazing. Now wait for this. 2884 CP. That is a Shundo. That is a 100% IV shiny lucky Zekrom. As you can see, the screen recording just sat frozen at that point, just sitting because I fell off my couch. When I tell you I fell off my couch, that's not a joke. Like, I sat up when I saw the CP and I'm kind of old and I have a bad back and when I just sat up I lost control and literally fell off of my couch. So that is the last one I had a screen recording for and currently I will bring up and show you guys everything um, just to touch base and let you guys see the cool stuff I have acquired. But first I need to do another four star check on the day. Uh, nothing other than we got a random numble earlier. And I've been running my gotcha all day and I haven't checked shiny, so let's go ahead and if I can hit that. Bro, real. I believe that's my 12th Volt Orb. 11th Volt Orb, I was close. Good lord. Anyways, 
Um, right here we do have, I've been getting a lot of lucky friends and actually being able to get the trades done lately. It's been nice, which we're going to try to do another one tomorrow. But this was from my guy, Omar. You guys know when we lived in San Diego, we were always hanging out with Omar and him and I have been lucky friends, like legit. I think him and I hit lucky friends like a week after we left San Diego. And I've been sitting on the trade since because we just haven't been able to see each other. We did the trade today. I wanted a Latios for the Mega because I don't have any good ones. Um, MJ, the other day, she traded me Timber. That's right. She needed a Timber to complete the uh, Shiny Timber family to get her Conkleder. And I got a 96 Azelf, which as soon as I can get the 20 XLs, I am going to level 50 that. It's going to go up to 3607. I'm really excited about that one. Um, a couple of other really good Shinies that I wanted to show you guys. Um, not worried about the Community Day remakes. Here's one of them. I did manage to get the Slugma our last day in Vegas, which was also the last day of the event for this. And it took somewhere around 2,900 checks to get one shiny Slugma. That was awful. But we did it, so I'm not worried about it. Next one is going to be, where is it hidden in here? Oh, it scrolled me back up. That's rude. Um, there it is. In Vegas, that same trip, right after the Hoot Hoot event ended where it had the hat and the scarf and whatever, I didn't want that one anyways. I did get a Hoot Hoot shiny that can evolve, but I couldn't get a second one. Hopefully I can find someone that got a couple of them and I can trade them for them because shiny Noctowl was one of my favorites. And if I can't find it, I may just go ahead and evolve this anyways. Probably going to wait till uh, Johto tour, but we'll see. And then Sorry. you're fine, honey. Over the uh, New Year's event, I finally got not one, but two shiny party hat Wurmple and I hatched a shiny party hat Pichu finally. I don't know why my luck has been absolutely amazing. I did also manage to get the Sfeel with a scarf and I got so many, so many shiny Galarian Darumaka, which I'm gonna do that evolution soon-ish. I wanna try and find someone that I can lucky swap it with or if me and MJ can get lucky friends one more time, before the increased chance in this event ends, her and I can roll one, but like, I don't wanna just do that evolution because I want it to be good because Darmanitan is so meta relevant, both Galarian and normal. And honestly, I think for now, yeah, that's just the makeup December Calm Day, none of that matters. I think that's it for shinies and everything and random hundos, you know, we got a Slugma and a Macargo. The cool thing about the Macargo, I posted it on Twitter. I actually go plus that as a Hundo Macargo while her and I were at dinner at Wolfgang Puck in Las Vegas. So that was kind of cool. I finally, for the OGs that watched my struggle with this one, I got wrecked not once, not twice, but five times on the Chansey that from research can either be at 98 or a Hundo every single time i got the 98 so when i saw the cp again i just quick caught it and didn't even bother checking it like an hour later i was going through cleaning out my storage and bam there was the hundo and i really don't think there's anything else i'm forgetting but if i remember i will go over it later we're still on the hunt for litleo we're still on the hunt for paris which she also got the same day she got the Lit Leo, like 30 something catches apart, which also hype for MJ down in the comments that uh, shiny Lit Leo, I am almost 100% certain was her 200,000th catch. So she's broken. Yeah, she's broken 200 K catches. She's grinding like no tomorrow. Like she's grinding at the level that I was when I first started going insane. And now I'm at almost, this is ridiculous. I'm almost at 400,000 catches, and this morning I broke 230 million XP. So we've been on a roll. I have not stopped playing. I've just had a whole lot going on, and now that I have finished the Pokemon Go aspect, the travel aspect of everything, for those that did stick around, I just have one more thing I'm going to go over before we get into tomorrow's adventure. Um, 
I have been having some struggles with mental health and being busy and doing a lot of things to not transition away from YouTube, but to just take my mind off of it because my mindset for content creation as a hobby, because that's really what it is for me, I was not in a good place for that. And when I was finally on my way back into a better place for it, why her and I planned this little getaway, go make some fun content, visit an old friend, see a place that we love because San Diego like will always have a spot in my heart for the sunsets, the beaches, the food, the culture. It's just an all around amazing city. Um, we flew out this morning at 7 a.m. Uh, yesterday at 4 p.m. I found out my dad was diagnosed with brain cancer. And uh, that has not helped my struggle, but we won't know anything until this upcoming Tuesday. So for right now, all I'm trying to do is stay positive and keep this trip going. And we will hit the next road when it comes to us. But I have to go to bed because we slept like two hours before we got ready for this trip. We have a big day tomorrow. We have a big day Monday and a pretty big day Tuesday before we head back. So I would like to sleep somewhere in between, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this all up here. So let me know down in the comments, what shinies have I missed from you guys? What hundos have I missed from you guys? What have I missed in general? Even if it's not Pokemon related, family stuff, fun stuff. Have you quit playing the game since I went away a couple of months ago? Cause I actually know a few people that, um, literally just deleted it off of their phone and haven't looked at it since and I'm not going to say I don't blame them for it but I will be forever addicted to this game as long as it exists as we're sitting here I, I'm literally dropping another lure because we're on two gems and a stop and as soon as we landed in San Diego I dropped 14 hours of incense I'm running non-stop lures I want the stupid lit Leo okay but just catch me up and if you don't want to catch me up in a giant comment come hop in the discord hit me up on twitter i think my messages are open i honestly have no idea i haven't been on twitter too much other than posting a video here and there and moving on anyways this video is dragged on long enough but hey it's a catch-up video i've been gone for what three months now we got a lot of exciting stuff coming up tomorrow we're headed over to balboa park for some adventures we're trying to make up for all the stuff we couldn't do when we were here the first time anyways catch me up down in the comments and hey if you could throw a prayer for my dad down in there and if you did enjoy today's catch up if you missed me if you missed mj you probably missed her more than me and that's okay just make sure to like the video and say it down in the comments because both of those help with the algorithm if you're new here welcome make sure to subscribe and join along because i am going to go back to making kind of regular videos. I'll explain that in another video. Like I said, this one's gone on long enough. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!